the world's first programmer was a woman. In the 1980s, if you went to any robotics class in the world, it would have been half boys, half girls. And so we were at parity up until almost, I mean, close to parity up until 1995. And then we started pushing women out. So at the lows, it was almost, you know, 18, 19%. And so the workforce is one place to look at the pipeline problem, but also college classrooms are another. You know, Stanford University is almost at, is at parity, essentially, in their engineering departments. But there was a dip, you know, in the 90s and 2000s. And so the pipeline work was getting young girls to say, STEM is, you know, computer science is something that I care about and something that I want to do. So getting them degrees is one thing, but then getting them jobs and having them stay in those jobs is an entirely different problem. And we are failing at that. Silicon Valley, the tech community is absolutely failing at that. We did a survey with Accenture that said women by the age of 35 uh, in tech will leave. 50% of them will leave. So we can't really tell what the full potential of those numbers are because the attrition is so high.